In this lesson, we will be discussing tapering faces. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 0806 taperingfaces.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with This Dataset video. When you taper faces on a solid model, you slant the faces at an angle relative to the position of a base point and direction that you specify. Adding taper to a design is especially beneficial when designing a part that will be cast and then require being removed from a form or a mold. You can also use tapering to quickly add greater complexity to your design. So let's talk about accessing the command and procedures for tapering faces on a solid model. Let's take this basic solid right here and we'll go ahead and run the solid edit command with the taper option. So this is located in the Home tab, Solid Editing Panel, and then we have the Solid Edit Commands. Note that any of these commands run the Solid Edit tool and simply run the specific command line parameter defined by the tool. We'll go ahead and run the Taper Faces tool right here, and then you're prompted to select a face. We'll go ahead and select a face. Note that if you accidentally select the wrong face, as is the case right here, if I shift middle click, you'll notice that I have the wrong face selected. You can use the remove option or a simple little trick is to actually hold the shift key down on the keyboard and move your cursor around until you remove the face that you want. So I'll select this face here. And I think I've got, yep, we've got that one selected again accidentally. So I'll hold the shift key down to unselect that one. And then I'll press enter. Now I'm defining a base point to define this taper. So the base point that I want for this taper is from this point here to this point here. And then now I'm defining a taper angle. So we'll go ahead and do this at an angle of 12 degrees, press enter, and it does 12 degrees from this line there to this rotation there. Notice how it stays in the solid edit command and I can simply select the taper option without having to access it from the ribbon again. I'll do a shift middle click, pick that face there, press enter, then pick, and then pick, and then define an angle of 12, and then enter, and now I've got my tapered object. Let me press escape here. And let's go ahead and undo that operation because I want to show you actually in a little bit of an easier way. As long as you know the distance, you can actually define a taper very easily by simply using the sub object selection using the grips. So what I can do is simply hold down the control key on the keyboard. And as a sub selection, I will select the edge. Notice the little red grip that appears there. I'll go ahead and pick the red grip, lock in my polar tracking and type in the distance. Again, this only works if you do know the taper distance, not the angle per se. I'll press one and then enter and then I'll hit escape control select the edge, pick the red grip, move to the left locking polar tracking and type in one and then enter. And there is my taper using the grips. So that's another way to do tapers as well. Let's go ahead and look at one other example of using this one here. I figured out the angle to get a straight edge here and I'm going to simply use the taper angle to define this entire face to have an angle. I'll run the taper command. I'll pick my face, press enter. My base point is going from this direction and then straight up. And the reason it's that case is because this was drawn with a 2D profile. Sometimes you'll find you do not get the results as expected. Simply define a different base point and you should get the desired results. I'll pick there, define my angle of 38 degrees, press enter, and there's my taper down to where I want it to be. This concludes this video discussing tapering faces.